Because religion is the most important, is the most precious thing in our life. Oh, it's precious than our wives, it's precious than our children, it's precious than our property, our money. Because it's religion, religion is what will make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala admit you into the paradise. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Number two, or number three, fiqh. All the books of fiqh are divided like that. Fiqh of acts of worship, ibadat. Fiqh of transactions, which is mu'amalat. And fiqh of all's laws and judicial system, which is called fiqh al -abduya. We know that the Prophet ﷺ tells us in a sahih hadith that cleanliness or purification is half of iman. Is half of our iman. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as said in the Quran, يُحِبُّ التَّوَّابِينَ وَيُحِبُّ الْمُتَطَهِّرِينَ يُحِبُّ التَّوَّابِينَ وَيُحِبُّ الْمُتَطَهِّرِينَ Okay? Purification, for the meaning of purification, means removal of impurity. Removing of impurity. We have two kinds of impurity. We have what's called minor ritual impurity, and the second one which is major ritual impurity. Minor impurity means that those items from which one or the Muslim is just required to make ablution. Is just required to make ablution. As for major impurity, those things from which one is required to make ghusl. One is required to make ghusl. And we know that the liquids that are coming out from one's penis are three. Sperm, madhi, ulwadi. And the sperm belongs to major ritual impurity. And those second to the minor ritual impurity. Because as for madhi and wadi, a man just is required to make wudu. For a spare man is required to make ghusl. Is to make ghusl. Okay. Muslim brothers and sisters. What do we use in order to remove impurity? Water. Excellent. Water. Water. And the water we use in making ablution or in making ghusl or in removing impurity in general should be pure. Should be pure. And the purest water ever. What is the purest water ever? Running, running water? No. Zamzam? Not Zamzam. I'm not, I'm not intending, I'm just noting that one. Mm. The water that comes down from the heaven, from the sky. The rain? You know? Rain. Yeah, the rain. Yeah, the rain. The rain is the, the, the only source for fresh water on the surface of the earth. You should know that. And it is blessed. Yeah. Rain is the only source for fresh water, sweet water on the surface of the earth. Uh, rain is what makes it what makes rivers. It is what makes rivers and, and other lakes of fresh water and sweet water, by the way. Rain is blessed, you know. Allah SWT says, وَأَنزَلْنَا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً مُبَارَكًا We have sent down from the sky, pleased water. Pleased water. That's why the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu tells us that when it was raining, the Prophet Sallallahu used to walk under that rain in order for that water huh, to fall down on his body. To fall down on his body. When Sallallahu was asked about that, he Sallallahu Alaihi says, إِنَّهُ مَا حَدِيثُ عَهْدٍ بِرَبِّهِ This water had just come out from the sky, from the heaven, so it is still pure. It is still pure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the water coming down from the heaven as tahur. He says, وَنَزَّلْنَا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً طَهُورًا So the water or the rain that comes down from the heaven is pure. Is pure. So, when we are going to make ablution or make ghusl, we should use pure water. We should use pure water. What is the pure water? How can I uh, know that this water is still pure? Okay. If you can drink it. Yeah, this is a good answer. <laughs> a smart answer. Yeah. If you can drink it. Yeah. But you can add some substances, some stuff to water, and you are still able to drink it. Yeah? So. Like the water on the sink. So they got a chemical. Yeah. We should drink it. Yeah. So, what, how can I know that this water is still pure and that I can? And that I can use it in making ablution, in making ghusl. Because ablution is an act of worship or not? Yes. Huh? Yes. So when you make ablution, when you make wudu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you or not? Yes. yes. Yes, he rewards you. And so when you make ghusl, he subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you. That's why when you are going to, to make ablution, as we are going to know, inshallah, in the in next lectures or next lessons, 
you are required to say Bismillah. Alright? You are required to say Bismillah. Okay? So, how can I identify that this water is still pure? Muslim jurists and scholars say that in order for anybody to know that this water is still pure, huh? Water should the, 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 the smell, the smell of water, and the color of water should not be it changed. Meaning that in water should be in the original case, in the original condition Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created it upon. Has created it upon. In case you have some uh, an amount of water, but that water is, is that water smell is, is bad, is foul, so it is not eligible for making ghost or making wudu. Okay? If the color of water huh, is not in the in, in the original case, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the original condition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates it upon, so it should be rejected. It cannot be used, it is not valid for making ghost or or wudu. It is not valid for making ghost or wudu. So these are the characteristics that should be met in water. We are going to use in ablution. We are going to stop at that point, inshallah. And inshallah, we are going to continue in the next lessons. So, uh, fiqh is of cardinal importance once again uh, for, for our life. We should know fiqh. We should know fiqh. Fiqh might be somewhat difficult for some people to understand. But if you are, inshallah, continue with each, with each, with each other that way, we're going to simplify everything and make everything, inshallah, easy to understand, inshallah, So, do you have any questions? So, brother, you were saying that the water, how do you know the water is pure? Yeah. The water got to be, like, clear by eyes, like, you can see it's clear, right? Yeah, if you see water is clear, okay, and there is no smell, bad smell for it, so it's okay. But it's illegal for making wudu. What about the, the, the people who make wudu from the water from the river? It's okay because the, the, the water of the river is too much so that no impurity could afflict it. Huh? Water of the sea, water of the oceans, and water of rivers are pure. Are pure because no impurity could change their qualities. Okay? Yeah. That's why the Prophet was once asked about the water of the sea. Mr. said, It is pure. It is pure. And its dead animals are lawful to eat. Its dead animals are lawful to eat. Yes. Uh, uh, so you are saying that the water is pure because it is clear. Yeah. 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 Uh, ejaculation of sperm. If, uh, for example, woman has menstruation, yes. having so sexual. I'm talking about for men. Ah, uh, for men. Yes. Yeah. If having good dream, okay. And what about if if some impurity, some impurity has afflicted you? For example, uh, uh, if a dog urinates on your clothes, on your leg, on your body, so you need to make a bush. You make. You need to make what? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. شكرا السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته